This is a thousand rubles, around 10 pounds, and today we have a mission. We're going to investigate the cost of living here in Russia, and we are going to do that by finding ways to spend these thousand rubles. But not here in Moscow, because you know what they say, there are very stark differences between the capital of Russia and the rest of the country, and that is true, especially when it comes to the cost of living. So what we are going to do instead is we're going to jump on a train that is going to take us as far as we can get from Moscow on a day trip. We are going to travel four hours by train towards Ukraine, towards Belarus, and we're going to stop in the city of Bryansk. So we're going to go shopping there. Bryansk, here we come. So I just found out that the railway station is a bit off the center of Bryansk So my first expense for the day is going to be the taxi A prospect Lenina center, da? Summit center Bryansk Okay, let's go and check it out So 10 minute bus ride from the railway station to the center 250 rubles around um, two and a half pounds I mean, it's okay, considering that we are out of Moscow and St. Petersburg, it could be cheaper. It is usually cheaper outside of Moscow and St. Petersburg, but yeah, there goes my first expense. Не обязательно надо Okay, so I'm now in the center of Bryansk and I now need to spend some money on food because I didn't have any so far today. So I'm finally having breakfast. Left Moscow at 6 o'clock this morning and that's why I didn't have the chance to do it before. It's only 12 o'clock. Anyway, look what I'm getting. A nice big omelette with bacon and a nice chocolate croissant. All of this for... How much was it? 270 rubles? So less than 3 pounds. A really good start off to the day, although it's already 12 o'clock. Oh, and by the way, I just realized I spent some of my capitalistic money on uh, Ulitsa Karla Marxa, Karl Marx Street. How ironic is that? Hello. Wow, look at this place on Lenin Square. Ruskoe Zalato, Russian gold. And look, they even have Skitki discounts up until 70%. I still think I will not be able to afford gold, even with all the discounts with my thousand rubles. Pity. Nice, I'm ice skating. And this is for free. Oh, there's a four-star hotel right in the center of Bryansk. Well, I'm not going to spend the night here in Bryansk, thank God, but I'm actually tempted to know how much you would have to spend for a night here? Speak English? Uh, I don't speak English. How much is the room for the night? 1800. 1800 rubles. Okay, So the kind lady at the desk said that one room for one night is 1800 rubles. Less than 20 pounds, which is pretty cheap, especially for a four star hotel. А подскажете, сувениры продаются? Сувениры? Ну, не знаю, не знаю. Не знаете? Спасибо. А сувениры продаются? Сувениры? Знаете? Хорошо, спасибо. Okay, so my camera's dead. And uh, I guess apparently when it's minus 10 out there, the battery doesn't last as long as usual. I do have my power bank, but I forgot the cable to charge the camera and that's a problem. So I guess I will have to go and see if I can find any cable for my camera to buy here in Bryansk. Otherwise, I won't be able to spend my full thousand rubles before having to come back to Moscow. So, oh, and by the way, that's why I stopped here to get a coffee, which cost around one pound, I believe, a hundred rubles. So getting closer to the threshold. All right, so I saved the day with this power bank and the cable. And I'll take the chance since I'm here at this central magazine, this um, shopping mall. Let's see if I can get myself a souvenir from Bryansk. A можно купить от вас магнит, пожалуйста? 
Хорошо, давайте. Сколько стоит? 150 рублей, пожалуйста. Спасибо вам большое. All right, so I don't think there's any way I'll be able to spend the full thousand rubles if I continue this way here in town. That is because, I mean, I'm not hungry, so I'm not going to spend any money on food. And I would get a haircut and spend money on that, but I just can't seem to find any barber shop. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to jump on a bus without looking at the destination, without knowing where I'm going. And in that way, we'll be able to find out how much is a bus fare here in provincial Russia and at the same time we will be able to go on a proper adventure. Let's go! So the bus fare for this minivan was 20 rubles, like a third of a pound, approximately. So I was casually traveling around the streets of Bryansk on that minibus when I saw that Soviet monument over there in the distance. So I shouted to the driver, please let me off. And I got off. I don't know what's up with the weather. Like for real, it has been snowing all day. And in the same way, the sun has been out shining all day. I don't even understand where this snow comes from. There's not a single cloud in the sky. Wow. Russian winter magic. Okay, so there is one thing we can check out here, which is the zoo, zoo park. Although I can't really imagine there being kangaroos and camels in Bryansk, in Russia, with this weather. But anyway, it's going to be free, bies platna. Uh, I don't know, that's actually for kids up to three years of age. But anyway, let's go and check out the kangaroos of Russia. Okay, so I believe everything is actually shut around here, including the zoo, which makes sense. You can't have kangaroos in Bryansk in winter, come on. But there's actually a nice karting place. I'm a fan of karting. You can barely make out the truck with that amount of snow. Let's check out the prices. It says 8 minutes, 500 rubles. I mean, it is cheaper than what I used to spend in the UK every time I went karting, but not by that much. Kurgan Biesmiertia. This is the name of this monument here in Bryansk. And if I'm reading here, Zhitelian Bryanska, people of Bryansk, Pavshim of Boyak, who perished during the fight for the freedom and the independence of their motherland. If you were to take a random Soviet monument, nine times out of ten, it's dedicated and it was built in honor of the Great Patriotic War, as the Russians call it. And this is no exception. Let's see if we can climb on it and check out the view. It almost looks like a uh, rocket launcher. But yeah, this is the view over snowy Bryansk. You can see the amount of snow that's still falling. And there's not a single cloud over my head. Guys, I actually believe this is a good place to wrap up this video. I mean, I didn't spend the full thousand rubles, but it's better that way so I can save up some money, right? And uh, I actually think I will have to spend some more money on food before I catch my train back to Moscow. So thank you for sticking with me until the very end. I hope you enjoyed my visit to Bryansk a snowy visit to Bryansk and I'll see you next time. Cheers! Thank you! Bye!